and enjoy the murder with them. Uh, uniforms are still searching. And I spoke to the council and asked them to hold off picking up the garbage until we're done. Well, can we get on with it? I don't want to be smelling this case from here. Has anybody got any good news? Uh, we recovered to his phone. He made three calls last night, all of them to his lawyer, Simon Mowbray. I called Mowbray this morning. He's not picking up, called in sick. I think somebody should pay him a visit. I'll do that. All right, that's it. You too. Just a word. The DNA test results you requested? The blood on the lead pipe? You're related. Is there something you want to tell me? It's a familial match, you sure? Yep. Uh, can we just keep this between us, just for now? No. You know you're not allowed to work on a case that involves a relative. This is different. It's not strictly an active investigation. Yeah, right. Please, Brenda. Put it down to the sisterhood. Hey, thank you. I, I owe you one. Big time. The ice found on Brett O'Donoghue matches the ice found at the Rex Harge and Cohen murder scenes. It's the same chemical composition. But it still doesn't put them there, does it? Well, if they're not our killers, then one of their clients is. Yeah, or someone who gets their ice from one of their clients, which could be about half of bloody Bondi. So we're no closer to cracking this. Little steps, boss. We are making progress. Well, I need more than just busting the O'Donoghues for a few bags of ice. Nick. Cheers, Brenda. 